guess what we got? Mid fake wing Pegasus. Yeah! We got two Uranus, now wing Pegasus. What's next? Theoretically, El Drago Guardian. I'm pretty sure everyone is very excited if that comes out because the Hasbro substitute is 10 grams lighter and we also get a fake metal ball which is pretty not easy to get you know you can get some poison Sarava but that's about it but aside from that let's open this okay, we get a sticker sheet I think it's really interesting this sticker sheet is in English because um, it's only available in Japan and like dual Uranus it's in Japanese Jade Jupiter Midfake is in Korean. This one is in full English. Interesting. Well, aside from that, let's... You know, look at the real Beyblade, right? First, we got the Tatted Face Boat. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Next up, we got the Red Pegasus 3, I think. Cool thing, it's still got glitter. I'll do better comparison later using TT parts. Next up, we got this Wing Blade. It's... Um, there's three modes depending what number uh, it represents a different kind of attack mode like more protruded or like staying with the whole shape itself um, you don't have to go through that today but here's the blade and the bottom okay do we get a 90 spin track white blend obviously i got a takara tommy real one i brought it here to just do comparison, so let's get to work. All right, right hand side is mid fake, left hand side is CT like usual. Seems like the hair of the Pegasus is shorter on the fake mid fake. It's also more lower, so you can see there's like empty space on the TT one here, but on the mid fake, there's almost no space. So it's lowered. Real one has code AS, mid fake. Faceboat has no code at all. No code. Next up, we got energy ring. Left hand side is TT, right hand side is midfake. Midfake is more vibrant, light, lighter red color. On the actual bottom, TT has A1 and midfake has A4. Also, the A4 is very big font. For top blade, left is TT, right is midfake. First glance, not much difference. Maybe the pointer is smaller. Real one does have an A2 code right here. Mid fake has no code. Bottom blade, top seems pretty similar. Bottom TT has the A1 code and mid fake has the A2 code. Also, these like circles seems to be in all the wrong places. 90 spin track, left is TT, right is mid fake. Color is slightly different. This is more like a greenish blue. This is just lighter. I don't think I see any coats. Finally, we got the white flat. Very different already. I think at first glance, this is a Hasbro version of white flat instead of TT. They do are different. Putting the mid fake Beyblade together. Uh, let's see how it's like. This seems a little bit not held in correctly. Um, energy ring is swingy. Okay, that's not good. Spin track. That's face bolt. Oh, man, that's not nice. What's going on here? Spin track. It's very tight in there. You have to push it in. So spin track is off, um, energy ring is off, face bolt is lowered. Well that's a big problem, but um, aside from that, once forced in together, everything's good. Again left is TT, right is mid fake. Tell me which one looks more legit to you, if you didn't know. Okay, TT is waiting at 50.2. Midfake is waiting at 49.8. So 0.4 gram difference, not too bad. Okay, let's do some comparison. Uh, let's just test the white flat out in the first place. First up, we got TT. Three, two, one, go shoot.
Okay, I think we've seen enough. Let's do mid fake. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. I mean, it feels pretty similar. Okay, I think performance is not going to be so different as stock combo, and there's not really much part to test. The only useful thing I would say is the 90 track and the blade itself. But uh, let's battle against a slightly defensive combo and see how it does. First up, we got TT, defensive combo. Ooh, look at that accurate sniping. Next up, we got mid fake. Go shoot. Go shoot. We missed out on few hit, but still get the job done. Alright, so I mean there's nothing too crazy to compare. Um, definitely quality is pretty bad compared to other mid fakes we're getting. But I think one good news is if this is getting made, the Warrior Radiance is getting made. Hopefully El Drago Guardian is getting made, but if not, still not the worst news. This is only like four bucks. So if you guys want to add this to a collection, just to you know memorance or whatever, um, it's not too bad. The blade is still pretty cool to play with. Um, yeah, let me know how you guys feel about this mid fake quick review, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.